Welcome to how-to videos from Bugspray.com. Today we're going to be talking about possible scenarios for what's that noise in your attic. Many times while you're at sleep at night or maybe you're doing some work around the house in the middle of the day, you're going to hear noises in your attic. And that's an indication that there's an animal living in your attic. And as to what animal that could be, there's quite a few different scenarios. We've got the most common would be squirrels, flying squirrels and roof rats. And then there's others. Occasionally we'll see birds getting into attics or in soffits, uh, possums, raccoons. And those are the ones that I can think of off the top of my head. Those are probably the most common scenarios. Occasionally we'll see something where uh, possibly a yellow jacket's nest in the summertime has built a big enough nest in a wall to create noise. Uh, determining what the animal is from the type of noise that you're hearing is usually the worst of all the things that we can use to identify that animal. There are so many other things that would be useful to us uh, to understand what kind of an animal you're dealing with. Again, the, the sound or the description of the noise typically is the least useful. Okay, so what would be useful about a noise in the attic or some other area of the house that would be helpful? The time of day that you're hearing the noise can sometimes give us an indicator of what it is. How loud the noise is can sometimes be helpful. Where in the house you're hearing the noise can sometimes be helpful. At least by uh, knowing those things, we can narrow it down. But the most important thing for you is to actually take some time and do some investigation. So I'm going to show you a few things to look for that are going to help you identify the source of the noise so that you can have a good idea of what it is you're going to need to do to get rid of this problem. Okay, so obviously if the, the noises that you're hearing are in the attic, the first place, the most logical place to take some time to look around is in the attic. You don't know how often we get calls from people or customers coming into the store that haven't even bothered to look in the attic, the source of the noise. So let's take a look around in this attic and let's see if we can see anything that would give us an indication of what kind of animals are getting into this attic. Okay, now uh, I'm looking at the gable vent, and the first thing I notice is there's a hole in the screen. And generally that's going to be a smaller animal. To give you an idea, that could be bats, rats, flying squirrels, or gray squirrels. Those are the common things that might make a hole in a gable vent. Okay, here's a closer view. You can see that hole. It's obviously been chewed through and uh, pushed down. Let's take a closer look at it and see if we can tell what that is along the bottom edge of that screen. Sometimes there's evidence left behind by the animal that might give us a better indication of what it is. Okay, as you can see right here along this bottom edge here, it looks like there's droppings in there. But when I got into it closer and really looked at it, what I saw was actually insect parts. So they've had an insect problem of some sort for a while. So this isn't going to be a telltale sign. Uh, we know it's not bats. Bats would leave tons of guano in there. Um, so we can eliminate bats as the source of this hole at this point. But it's got to be something, so let's keep investigating see what else we can find. Okay, another possible entry point. I'm looking over here at one of the eaves, and you can see quite a bit of light coming in. Uh, the, looks like the roof has rotted away. And that could be uh, either from roof damage from a tree or possibly even uh, the animal that's coming in just chewing away at it until they open up the area wide enough to give themselves access in. So that's a pretty good size opening. I don't know if you can really get a perception, but I would say that there's at least a four to five inch opening. And that really widens open the number of animals that you could be dealing with. So we're going to keep looking around and see what else we can find. Okay. If you can see the dark spaces here in this video, uh, just to the right of the 2x, um, so you can tell there's 2 inches wide that board is, 
and then just to the right of it there's some brown masses. If you look at this a little closer you can see there's some seeds in here uh, and some berries and that's a telltale sign of raccoon droppings. So one thing we know for sure is that uh, a raccoon has been up here at some point. I don't uh, know if that's the source of all the noises but it's certainly the source of noises in the night. A raccoon's going to be a little bit bigger and they're going to make a little bit more noise. Typically they're nocturnal and most of the noise is going to be heard in the evening hours. Okay now that we've seen droppings that size we know that at least the source of one of the animals up here is uh, potentially a raccoon. Well definitely a raccoon. Uh, the only other animal that would leave a dropping this size is a possum and they're just a lot less frequent in attics. You'll find them in crawl spaces a lot more frequently. But uh, definitely the access point that I showed earlier would indicate uh, that a raccoon could easily get into this place. The hole that I showed uh, in the gable vent still is belonging to something, something else. That's not a raccoon hole. Probably more likely than not a squirrel. I'm not seeing any other droppings up here. I'm just going to take a quick look around, make sure I don't see any rat droppings. But one of the telltale signs of squirrels is that you have large areas of depressed insulation along the areas where the holes are, but no droppings. You're not going to find any droppings. If it is a rat, every single place they travel in that attic, you're going to find droppings. So at this particular location, we're not seeing anything to indicate rats, but we do see things to indicate squirrels and now raccoons. And I'm just going to look at a couple other areas that uh, might be highly probable for squirrel, uh, excuse me, for uh, rat activity, roof rat activity, and uh, see if we can narrow it down. Now, I've sort of eliminated flying squirrels. Uh, I haven't seen anything to indicate them. Typically, wherever they're coming in, uh, there's going to be uh, just one little pile of droppings, and, and their droppings are very small and they basically use the restroom always in the same area. So we can probably eliminate flying squirrels even though I haven't seen any activity uh, to indicate that they're up here. It doesn't mean that they're absolutely not up here. It just means they're not likely. But I'm almost certain at this point that we're not dealing with roof rats in any, any way, shape, or form. Okay, pretty much any place where there's a flat area in the attic, roof rats would be looking around. Uh, I'm looking here at a, a walkway absolutely no droppings whatsoever. Another place you want to take a good look is anywhere where there's a, a furnace or water heaters. Typically rats love to go around those areas. And just taking a quick look here, I'm not seeing anything that would indicate rodents here. Let's, let's take a good look on top. Okay, you can see a little bit of insulation on top of there, but who knows how that got there. I'm not seeing any rodent activity. I don't see any rat droppings at all. Just a little closer look for you. Just nothing. It's pretty clean. So again, rats, they love to get around this warm area. You're typically going to see any activity uh, of them in an attic in this area as well. Just nothing there. Another place you want to check is around your water heater. If it's rats, they're going to be climbing around this area. They'll probably use the pipes to gain access. They'll use the walls as a way to travel. And if you look here as I pan up, you'll see holes around the pipes where they come in. Let me see if I can zoom in on that for you. 